Today, we're going to learn how to describe your average day as a programmer. Now, this might not seem like an important question, but it could set the tone for the rest of the interview. So if you stumble on this, it could start you stumbling on other things, too. Now, before we get started, as always, please like, please subscribe. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn or Twitter. I want to be able to talk to you out there if you have any questions. Now, the interview is going to ask you to describe your day for two reasons. The first reason is that they want to check your communication skills. You work every day. You know what you do every day. But are you able to describe that succinctly and quickly? And the second reason is that the interviewer wants to see if the tasks that you do daily in your current job are a good fit for this new job. Now, the best way of describing your day is to give simple answers with percentages. The wrong way to describe your day is to badmouth your company or go through every single bullet point of what you do every single day. For example, I'm a software architect. Here's the wrong way of describing my day. Describe my day, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Um, well, you know, I try to get up around 6.30 and then I answer emails, you know, and I try to reply all to the emails. That way everybody thinks I'm like up super early working. Then I get to work and I, uh, I usually just kind of pace around for a while with a post-it note and I walk really fast, you know, that way people think I'm working on something super important. And then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go to my meetings, you know, and if I'm on Google Teams, you know, I'll say like, hey, you know, I got to drop for another one. And I'll drop. And I actually have another meeting I'm going to. I just want people to think I'm working a lot. And then, uh, uh, you know, I'll just kind of putter around until about six o'clock. My boss will pop his head in the office, you know, and I'll be like, hey, burning the candles at both ends. huh? And I'll be like, yeah, I got to get these slides in, you know, and uh and, uh, you know, then I'll send out some emails so that way people will be compelled to, like, uh, answer those emails after their kids get to bed. And uh, then I'll start all over again in the morning. Yeah, don't do that. So split your day up into three distinct parts. Core work, support work, and administrative work. Now, core work is the stuff you're supposed to do every day. As a programmer, that's going to be writing code. Support work is anything you need to do in order to do your job. So that might be setting up tests or doing research or architecture. And administrative work is checking email, meetings, and all other duties as assigned. So let's travel back to 1996 and see how I would have answered this question back then as a junior developer. My day, let's see. I spent about 60% of my time coding in DB6. I spend about 20% of my time uh, doing Microsoft Access database queries, and uh, the other 20% of my time is spent in meetings, emails, and talking about Stone Temple Pilots with my guys. Hey, don't judge me. Even Gordon Freeman had a goatee back in the 90s. Now, you notice why I didn't badmouth my company there? As you get further and further along in your career, you're actually going to do less and less of your job. And as you gain more domain knowledge, you're going to become that subject matter expert that people can come to to ask for help. So you do less and less core work and more and more support and administrative work. For example, here's how I would answer that question today. You know, believe it or not, as a software architect, very little of my day is actually spent with architecture. I would say about 30% about of my day is spent doing actual architecture. And then 50% uh, of my day is spent helping other people, supporting them, integrating uh, their ideas in with our current systems architecture. It's probably the most rewarding part of the job. And then uh, probably about 20% of my day is spent doing uh, emails and attending meetings and keeping up with everybody on Microsoft Teams to make sure we're all on the same page with architecture. So the key takeaway here is to split your day up into three categories of core work, support work, and administrative work. Give an accurate percentage to each category and make sure they add up to 100. Then practice this little speech in front of a mirror or in a webcam until you can recite it quickly and succinctly. Good luck on your next interview.